What's going on guys? Vic VV back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, the last Christmas order is complete. We got the two-player pedestal with 10,000 games Pandora box built. What a season. Let's take a look. All the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see all the builds. I always say it in every video. You would see all the builds. You would see this one as well. Also, a couple of little, you know, things uh, that went on as far as this build and the other builds for Christmas and such. But yes, be sure to follow me on all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow. Click the link tree down below. Also, like, subscribe and all that i felt i i've literally filmed so much like this i feel like the past like six days i've been talking to the camera <laughs> especially because we had that dedicated shooter that went out and the other stuff going on uh i feel like a broken record but i will always have to do my social media plug in so be sure to follow me what are you waiting for be sure to follow into coins <laughs> now yes this right here and another video coming up yes i said hello to a little old friend uh, you know, like the old school, hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> yes, uh, we do have, your eyes are not deceiving you. Yes, this is a Game Room Solutions two-player pedestal. And I also have, when it's hear the story on that one, it's still sitting in the box, almost two weeks. Luckily, that wasn't a Christmas order. Thank goodness that wasn't a Christmas order, because I would have been asked out if it was. Um... Yes, I do have a Game Room Solutions pedestal in front of me, and I have also a curve coming up. Uh, anxious for that. Uh, it looks like a cool design. It's very slim, which is what the customer wanted. Uh, but yes, I said it in my last videos, and I'll say it again in this video here. Uh, I have no bad blood with Game Room Solutions. That's really how I started. Um, so, you know, they've done their part. It's been a while since I ordered a cabinet from them. I still offer the option if you do want a Game Room Solutions cabinet, or I should say if you need a cheaper alternative slash, I guess honestly, like a, a if you're on a budget and you don't want to pay for like my custom cut cabinets, like a buy Vic, I will still offer you a build, but we are using Game Room Solutions stuff. Uh, again, it's a pro and a con. Uh, you know, for this right here, normally on their normal like, way it would work if God was on my side and everybody just followed through, uh, meaning Game Room Solutions. Uh, you know, they're able to cut a cabinet, put the artwork on it, and send it out, like, in a week. Uh, you know, for me, if I have to actually cut, physically cut cabinets and all that, it doesn't take me a week. It does take me a little bit longer. Then not to mention, like, I'm saving electric bill stuff and I'm saving like my bits and going to the store and saving gas to get you know the four by eight sheets of wood there's a lot going on so again I still offer a game room solutions option slash a cheaper alternative but we are using game room solutions so this is Street Fighter. I had coins in it uh, but yes again like I said if you are looking for a build from me but you go hey Vic man you know what you're a little bit too expensive this is what you'll get. We will be looking at a Game Room Solutions cabinet. Now, again, the biggest thing is, you know, again, I have to keep saying this, but if, you know, if everybody over there followed through on what they're supposed to do and what you're going to order, you know, this right here usually takes me about a week and a half to two weeks tops. That's where these Christmas orders come in. Every year, no joke, every year, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I get the whole influx of, hey Vic, I see like your Facebook ad, I want an arcade cabinet. Even right now to date, this video is going to go out after Christmas, obviously, that's just how I have my video set. I'm right now, we are right now, what's the date today? Today is the 20th, so we have five days until Christmas Day, and uh, I'm getting messages even now saying, hey, I need a cabinet for Christmas, what can you do? I, you're out, I can't, I can't do anything, even if I was going to cut my own cabinet. It is impossible to get a cabinet cut, not to mention artwork made and laid, and it's, no. So that's it. Usually my cutoff for Christmas orders 
is usually Cyber Monday. December, even this right now, this was cutting it close and I'm using gaming solutions here. Um, again, if you're looking for a PC-based system that you're not, no, none. I did zero Christmas orders that are PC-based. All these are, as you can see, Pandora boxes. And yes, this right here is the fifth one, number five, that I did. Uh, might not sound like a lot. To me, it is a lot, especially because I was able to bang out, you know, five cabinets within a week and a half to two weeks. So, awesome. These are all going out already. Four of them have gone out. Customers already picked them up. They're basically wrapped ready to go for Christmas morning. This one here, customers are gonna come in maybe, I don't know, tomorrow or uh, the next day. Uh, but yes, at least I got the Christmas rush. The curve that's in the box, thank goodness, that isn't a Christmas order. That one I had actually ordered before Black Friday slash it's the actual customer that gave me that crane. Uh, it's his cabinet. Um, so yeah, there you go. This one here, I'm showcasing this one because number one, I did the artwork on this one sent out the files to Game Room Solutions, they, you know, put it on. Uh, the other ones were kind of just generic, already made ones. Uh, I did have one customer, and I always laugh at this, um, I did have one customer that was just, I think it was like on Black Friday, like, you know, 100 questions. Like, not 21 questions, but 100 questions. I even went to the extent, I never do this, but I was like, just to get this guy, like, happy and to go, I actually made artwork for him before even getting a deposit. Normally I don't do that. Uh, in the past I've done that, now my time is just too valuable. I need a deposit before I can start working. I say that to every customer there is. When it's your turn in line, especially if you're on my wait list, deposit, then we start working. I don't take deposits before I'm working. I just don't like doing that. I don't want, you know, to, you, I don't want to hold your money and you'd be like, Vic, where is it? It's like, I don't want to deal with that. This guy though, not this guy, this guy I'm talking about, um, you know, 21 questions, does it have hockey? I want, he wanted a hockey themed thing, uh, no joke, you're talking like from Black Friday up to Cyber Monday, I was dealing with this customer, again, 100 questions, I want the cheapest build possible, I wanted to play light guns, and I'm like, no, it, it, you're, it doesn't add up, what you want, it just doesn't add up, I have a credit in. Uh, so, anyway, I went to the extent, I no joke, I spent two days making artwork for this dude, NHL themed. I'm actually happy with the way it came out. I'm hoping that he messages me and comes through. But, um, basically, Cyber Monday hit, I said, dude, I need a deposit now. I need it right now. If you need this for Christmas, I need this no joke today. I sent him four messages the same exact way. I need a deposit, I need a deposit, I need a deposit. He hasn't messaged me right now. Again, this is the 20th. I have a huge feeling, huge, monstrous feeling that he's going to message me like in three days, like the day before Christmas Eve, and he's going to go, hey, Vic, how's my build going? And I'm going to be like, I have no fucking build. You didn't give me money. There's no deposit. I'm not going to risk my money because you didn't give me a deposit. I'm not going to make your cabinet. I'm not going to go to Game of Solutions and order a cabinet because you're an idiot. <laughs> so I have a big feeling that that's gonna happen. So really, I was supposed to have six orders, but five of them paid, deposit, built out the door. Yes. <laughs> uh, again, it's just it's just crazy how some people are. Uh, not in a bad way. Again, I don't want to I don't want to sound like an asshole and be like, oh, you don't answer questions. I answer questions, but if you're gonna hit me with a hundred questions, you know, three day span, you want me to make artwork, and then now when it's time for a deposit. You, like, don't even answer the phone. Like, you don't even... Fuck off. <laughs> now, this customer, on the other hand, awesome dude. He knew what he wanted. No BS. Within about, I would say, an hour or two, deposit received, artwork, right into artwork. This dude was awesome. He's actually, like, I don't know if he's local, um, but apparently his wife used to be in this area that I am in. Awesome. This one, again, I'm showcasing this one. I didn't show the other ones because the other ones are kind of generic artwork that Game of Solutions had. This one, though, is a full kind of complete artwork set that I made. So I made the artwork, uploaded it to Game of Solutions, and they printed it. Pretty cool. Guy said, listen, Vic, I want like a Brooklyn-themed cabinet. He's not in Brooklyn now, though. He was born and raised and also with the family and the wife and all that. So I think it was, I think it's pretty cool. Usually, I've, I've only done a handful of like these like city landmark type of artwork and uh i'm really happy with this one kind of i don't know i don't know if you can say the word simple but then it's also complex i don't know what you want to call it but anyway i'm just happy with the way it came out take a look real quick i might 
Actually, make sure you can see the kick point. Let's bring you close. So now again, keep in mind, this is my dolly. I have this on a dolly so I can transport it and move it around in the shop. This does not have wheels. Unfortunately, with this pedestal, Game of Solutions, yes, it is a, it's a half inch. Uh, they actually bumped it up to like particle board. This isn't MDF on this. This is actual particle board, which in all honesty, in my opinion, is better than the MDF. Might sound weird for me to say that, but yes, it is actually better. Take a look real quick at the kick plate. I love it. Basically, his big thing was Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Bridge was a big deal and Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Basically, I went, I made the, you know, different kind of fonts and the styles. I like this red and white theme I went with. Uh, he actually requested red. I made this thing green originally, almost like, you know, the street signs, uh, but he wanted it red. And there you go. The coolest thing I think is the Brooklyn Bridge silhouette logo I made along with the family names and such. I think it's awesome. Also, I'm big on LEDs, so I did add the LEDs. LEDs are along the control panel here, and I also have LEDs in the kick plate here. Continuing with the red, I did go with red T-molding. I thought it looked great. I think it looks awesome, honestly. This is the left side, right side. So again, he wanted one side that was Brooklyn Bridge, uh, which is pretty cool. I think I like this. Uh, you know, Game of Solutions also one big plus. They actually now have artwork for this top panel here. They didn't have that uh, last time. On uh, my other builds, it was just black here. So seeing that they added the artwork here is pretty cool. Yes, the, you know, the cut here kind of sucks, but that's Game of Solutions for you. You can't really do much on it. This again is really a control panel with the stand. So I guess that's why they have it. Uh, if you take a look now real quick at the other side, making sure that I don't hit anything and I have enough room on the plug. I'm pretty sure you're good there. Cool. This side here, we did green point. Awesome. This here is actually nice and clean. You know, you don't really see the cut too much. But again, big props to them. That at least they added the artwork option up there. Cool. Honestly, very simple stuff. Uh, basically, I just found a bunch of stock photos. Uh, green point, Brooklyn stuff is very difficult to find. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, husband approved. This guy approved it. And awesome. I like this little green point Brooklyn logo I made. I think it looks great. I think it's awesome. The rear is the rear. It's just black. But all in all, there is your cabinet artwork. Let me show you guys the control panel. So up top here, basically, like, I didn't want to do more landmarks or that, so I kind of found these cartoony like maps. Uh, I think it's great. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of got like some significant you know things here, and it's written here, and over here you got like the burrows or whatever. It is. I don't know. Again, it, I didn't want to continue with like. I mean, how many images of the Brooklyn Bridge can be on this thing? So he thought this was an awesome idea. I thought it was too. Luckily, I found it. I do have this custom like Brooklyn logo here. Uh, awesome. Honestly, awesome. Then I got also the family members up top here. Awesome. The big thing, again, this is a Pandora box built. So now you're going to see on this build and the other curve I have, which is another Pandora box, I did add on the top here, hold start to exit game. Uh, I did put the text there. It's just kind of easier for navigation wise. Okay, you went closer so you could see it. So again, you can see there, hold start to exit game. Pretty nice and settled. Doesn't like, you know, it's not like huge, but yeah, take a look at that. Awesome. Now, one last thing I'll mention about the control panel here. Uh, I'm going to bring you back. We're going to talk about the game room solutions button option now that they have. Uh, I made it work. Uh, basically though, what it is, this is the standard non-LED concave arcade buttons. But as you can see, I actually swapped out the colors here. So this is red and white, and this is red and white here. I think it's awesome, pretty cool. I didn't like it just regular red and then like a regular white. Uh, basically you pop it out and cool. Customer loved this. He's like, whoa, this is so cool. And then I also went with the red and the white bad top joysticks. And on this, let me see if you even see me. Yes, you do. I do actually have the extender on the actual, let me see if I can get this real quick. Hang on. I have the actual extender. You could get these on Amazon for these Samwa sticks. Uh, so it's basically there's an extender here. Normally this nub that's here is actually in the wood and then you know, you're basically it's like there. Your joystick is like kind of too low. So I do have the extender here and it's awesome. I, I think it's a must. Some people might think it's too tall, but for a new customer, I think it's I think it's just right. Then you do have your dedicated four-way up top here. That one doesn't have the extender because usually when you grip for Pac-Man, 
you get a nice kind of knuckle grip on that. But yes, there you go. That is the control panel. Take a look real quick on the inside, clean wiring as always. Again, this is the Pandora Box 18S Pro. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And you can see all the wiring. Let me make sure you can, kind of, you cannot. Now I moved you back so you can actually see everything because you didn't see anything. But as you can see, again, Pandora Box 18S Pro. And real quick, you can at least see the wiring on this. That is the cleanest that I could get. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the Pandora Box and all that. But the one thing that I did notice that Gaming Solutions switched up on me and I guess everybody else, they changed their buttons. Uh, you know, they normally used to have this. This is my personal button here. They normally had the concave non-LED buttons, like a regular arcade button with the micro switch. Now they've gone to like this all-in-one button and I fucking hate it. I, I don't like it. I do not like it, but it works. Uh, it's just, I like the, I like the click and feel of the actual micro switch. Not to mention when I rewire this Pandora box, I have all the spade connectors for a regular micro switch. I don't have the spade connectors for these small ones. So I had to make magic happen. Uh, basically I did a bunch of, you know, uh, soldering points. You can even see here, I have it shrink wrapped here and all that, but yeah, there you go. Kind of see it in the dark real quick. Again, I like my LEDs call myself the LED King. I like my LEDs. Again, right along the control panel there, which is great. It just, it just comes over the edges so you could get the side panels basically lit up now and also the, you know, the plate here. And then underneath here, you have the LEDs there. I'm not gonna put my foot on it yet. There you go. Awesome stuff. Big thing when it comes to gaming solution stuff like this, you have to cut that panel before you actually put the cam lock in. So, you know, if you want to try to copy me on that, that's what you got to do. You actually have to cut it. I don't drill holes into this. I cut it. I have a bandsaw and I cut it, make it all nice and clean. Now you may have seen my last video where I showed off that God awful 26,000 game Pandora box. That was also another like hump in the road. Luckily no customer was affected by it, but once I got that Pandora box in and I saw how awful it was, I, I quickly went and I returned it. This one here is the correct one that I always use. And before it was 8,000 games, now they're actually at 10,000 games, which is pretty interesting to see. And you can see here, you know, for example, PSP emulation Tekken 6. Uh, again, huge difference from the other thing that I had. So thank God that all worked in my favor. Uh, again, basically I ordered three of those, returned them, and then I had to order six of these, and yes, we are all good to go. Basically what I'm getting at is that I've said it in many videos, and I've even done a tutorial on this, but basically this is what I get in the mail. I get this kind of thing right here. It's a control panel with the Pandora box in it. I got these. I never use the buttons and the joysticks that come with these because these are god-awful, but basically I got these, and then I put them into the control panel. What am I getting at? Gaming Solutions, I don't know what they did, I don't know who made this call, but you know, they have now the $60 kit. Normally it was 100 bucks, now it's 60, and now I understand why. Uh, it's basically a mental note, I will never get the button kit from Gaming Solutions. Um, I don't know who made that call. Stick to the regular arcade hardware. Basically again, what I normally do, these buttons that are here that come with the control panel, you know, with the Pandora box, these do have these tiny spades. So normally my regular practice, what I normally do here, is I do have a bunch of JAMA connectors. I cut the JAMA wire on a regular thing, so it's a long wire along with the regular spade head for a regular standard arcade micro switch. And basically I take this end and I cut the end and I have to extend the wires because these wires are too small slash short uh, to fit inside of a control panel. Basically all I gotta do is do one cut um, you know, sheath, I gotta strip the wire, solder, call it a day. In this situation, I had to actually take my JAMA, cut the two ends on it, and basically extend out. So I had to keep the existing spade here. Blackjack success. I have a, had a credit inside of it, but yes, cool, awesome. Uh, I never do that. I never do it where I have to cut two ends and I basically had to extend it. It was just more work and it, it kind of uh, it kind of ticked me off, but it is what it is. These buttons that come stock on these are god awful. These are fairly good. Definitely takes some getting used to, 
Uh, but just a mental note, ex nay that, not to mention they no longer do the Zinmos, or they do, but I don't know. I usually get the $100 kit and it comes with a Zinmo. Uh, but I have a shitload of Zinmos. Uh, now they do SJ at JX, which is fine. But, um, yeah. I, I, anyway, I'd rather just get my buttons from Groovy Game Gear or Paradise Arcade. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had to do that times five and then plus the curve coming up. Yeah, there was a, a lot of rewiring to be done. Let's talk about the Pandora box on this now. Again, I love this Pandora box. Again, I had that 26,000 game one. It's It was god awful. This one, it went from 8,000 games to 10,000 games. So I wasn't expecting that. Uh, as you can see, you know, Tekken 6, Tekken 5, this has PSP emulation. Apparently, I mean, I can't tell. Uh, I was doing it before I started shooting the video, but like, it has like the Xbox logo, but I can't tell what system this is because it's definitely not the Xbox system. Um, it did have like a newer Golden Axe, but Golden Axe 3, I don't know. I can't tell what this is, but there's more of this Xbox logo than I remember seeing. The one thing that really shocked me, and I'm going to have to, I'm going to do it probably live with you guys. Uh, on the main screen, so page one is your main page basically. Um, if I go back and to the left, basically at the end of the page, this now actually has four player games. It's actually labeled 4P, 3P almost like the DX or the 30S. Uh, and I believe it clocked in at around 79 games that are labeled 3P or 4P. So 9921 and then up to basically 10,000. So 9921, it's 79 games. I, yesterday, and that's what's also great with this, this one does have the marketplace. I saw Super Smash Bros. And I was like, okay, I'm going to download this. I haven't tested that, but we'll probably do it live on camera. We'll see how that goes. But I'm going to most likely I'll put the SJIJX boards in there. Maybe this is a 330S DX killer. This is Super Smash Bros. That's pretty cool. You can do versus mode on this? Let's see how this goes. Oh. Glory. Uh, I don't know. Right here, a little bit of a stutter. Let's see. Oh god, I don't want to get hit with. We don't want to get hit with audio copyright. So let's just play this real quick. Listen, this is this is Super Smash Bros. <laughs> is it comfortable on the arcade sticks? Maybe not really. If I can find out my buttons. Uh, I think it's like, oh, I gotta go up? Yeah, this is the jump. Awesome, I don't wanna get hit with copyright, so we're gonna exit out. But yes, that was like the big deal. Uh, you know, my only negative thing towards this Pandora box is that I wish it showed the arcade games first. So, uh, you know, you kinda have to make your favorites here, which I did real quick for the customer, only cause it's like, you know, oh, hey, Donkey Kong, Puzzle Bobble, and stuff. I only have a, a handful of them. It starts with PSP, so it's pretty cool. Again, you can see that Tekken 6, Tekken 5, I'll launch that for you guys real quick. But it starts with PSP, then PS1, N64, and again, it shows you the logo there. But by the time it's like, I guess like, uh, what is it, the 30th page, 25th page, then you get into the arcade game. So I kind of wish it was arcade games in the beginning, but you can always press start. You can always do your search, which is always the best thing about these Pandora boxes. But also if I go through the categories, it shows you it by the system. So this has Game Boy Advance on it. Uh, Game Boy Advance, I guess another Game Boy, Dreamcast, Arcade, and such. This right here, again, this is Pandora Box. It went from 8,000 games to now 10,000 games. I will real quick launch for you. Uh, we'll do Tekken 5. Show that. Now, again, these are console games, so it's considered on a timer. Uh, look. So you could actually, and this is what's crazy with this Pandora box. If I press start on player two, it does this auto sync thing. Cause again, PSP was a one player handheld. It's actually going through searching for, I'm not doing anything right now. It doesn't, I don't know if it's done this for all games. I've only tested it on Tekken, but now we have two player Tekken. Look at that. Please wait. Get ready for the next battle. 
That this is honestly why. I mean, I like this 18s Pro. We're playing PSP emulation on this. Round one. Fight! Fight! Look. As you can see, I'm not a second player, but <laughs> there. I mean, that's honestly awesome. On all the commercial areas I've bought a cabinet, they have this, and every time I go to see like the recent games, it's always like a PSP game. I don't know if that's because it's like the first game on the list, like meaning it's here, but yeah, awesome. I, I love it. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna put these SJ SJXs in, and I'm gonna see how four player works because I have not, I've never done four player on this, and they've never had that option. Again, they have a list of four P, three P games to it. All right, so got the two USBs in. I selected Sunset Riders. I want to test it on this one. Let's see. So it works. Uh, definitely, it's something where it's not like it's not. Um, what's the wording? There's no way to go in and adjust the gamepad settings. This is something where I kind of have to sit and kind of figure out what is button one and what is button two. You know, normally it's like one, two, three, four, but in this situation, button like three. See that? Button three is firing. Button one doesn't do anything. Button two doesn't do anything. Button there. I'm able to fire. Oh, button two is to jump. See, so it works though. I did, I was able to press start. There's player two. There's player one. Player three, I don't have uh, a joystick to it. Player four, I have to basically press A. And there I am. And now I'm able to move. Whoa, this, this is a big deal. This is kind of cool right now. Again, it's at the end of the list. We do have four player options. Rampage three player. Uh, TMNT 4 player. Uh, do I don't want to do it. I, I want to. I always do like T. I do Simpsons and TMNT all the time. Let's do a different game. Um, Karate Blazers. Why not? This looks kind of badass. <laughs> now, also, another note on this Pandora box I could insert a bunch of coins, and all I have to do is just press start on player two, whereas other ones I have to hold start and then do A to insert a coin. Uh, but this is so far so good. Now let's just see if I could, ah, uh, there's player four, but then I, I can also select a character, cool. Let's bring in player three. Basically, I'm just taking a screwdriver and I'm just touching the pin, so I don't need actual buttons here. Where did my player three go? Oh, he's there. Hmm. So, interesting. Let's bring this game back. That's left field. I don't know what happened there. I started, I think, with two players. No? I started with three players? No, this is a two player game. You got me, Pandora. You got me. It's a two player game. There is also another one, though. Let's bring it back. Uh, as you can see, we're doing this live. There is a Karate Blazers A. Let's try that one. Maybe the Final Burn Alpha is set to four. Ah, that's a four player one right there. Awesome. Awesome, let's see. So that's player four. Oh, I started. Let's bring in player one. We gotta make sure we're gonna add some coins in. So player two is there, good. Let's bring in player one, good. And we got player three. This is it. That's all I needed to know, man, that's it. This right, this right here, listen, again, my 26,000 game board you saw, it had a shitload of duplicates and all that, I mean, times six. This is it. This is awesome. So now I could do four players with the Pandora Box 18S Pro, 10,000 games. Wow. Wow, 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 you learn something new every day. This is awesome. Awesome, I, I'm, I'm even more ecstatic now. So now I could even do a four player, awesome. Now real quick, just so a lot of people, again, if they see this video and all that, I always send these to customers and all that. Pandora Box, again, I say it on repeat all the time, okay? 
Pandora Box is the most user-friendly build, whatever you want to call it, uh, board you could get. Just like all the customers that got their Christmas orders, this one included and the curve. All you literally have to do is flip the switch. TV's already on, flip the switch. In the rear, I just have a power input and HDMI out. The system will boot. Give it like a couple of seconds and then you'll be gaming. Again, search feature on this. I am right now mind blown. I might not look it because I'm tired, but I am mind blown that the four players work on this. That is it. I'm going with this 18S Pro all the time. And now you're into gaming. Again, I always say it in my videos, you could switch this to free play. I have this set to coin. You have coin buttons on the control panel. The reason I have this set to coin is because after about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, it's gonna go and show you the next game. That's what's great. Again, if you want this for an Airbnb, this is the perfect setup. Turn it on. And that is it, let it go. You could set it to free play. Vic, I don't understand, I can't, I can't do anything. I have that set up on purpose. I could enable navigation without the coin, but then that's where people get confused. Like, oh Vic, I think I broke it. No, you just, that's what it is. Put a coin in and then you can start navigating. That is just the easiest way to go about it, just like in a real commercial space. If you had a coin door, you put the coin in. No kids guess, they cannot touch this until they put a coin. So they'll just kind of be like, what's happening? You gotta put a coin in. This again had your standard several Street Fighter duplicates and all that, but one button in and you're set. Done. In it, add more coins to it. This is what I love about this Pandora box. I'm adding coins. All I have to do is press start on player two and I'm in. That's it. This is awesome. This is great. I'm very excited. It's the final build for Christmas. And once you're done playing, you just hit the switch. It, it can't get any easier than that. Vic, I want light guns. No, you're not going to get that on a Pandora box. Please, I'm not doing no retro shooter. Um, unless the customer really, really wants a retro shooter, which for if you don't know, this is a Pandora box with light guns. Uh, I'm not a fan. Uh, I always say stick with the PC-based systems because you'll get all the like on games with PC-based system. But there you guys have it. The last and final two-player pedestal going out. Man, what a season. What a season. The new year coming up. Very excited. Got a couple of things going on. Planning to do more streaming, more gaming. Right now, you don't see it, but I'm working on a V-pin. Um, but yes, so much to go. Big VP. Game case arcades. Cheesh.